welcome to Steel County Extension Service. My name is Ainava Majumdar. In the previous videos uh, that you may have seen, I talked about uh, some trapping techniques and it is important to monitor insects and it's really um, cost effective to monitor insects using uh, pheromone traps. And now I'm going to talk about some sunflower insects. In the previous videos I talked about uh, wheat pest and I talked about canola insects. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about another high value crop which is sunflower. And uh, we have uh, very good traps that we used in Steel County Extension for monitoring uh, two types of moth, the banded sunflower moth and the sunflower moth. Um, there's also a third type of moth in sunflower. So these are all different species of moths. Uh, the picture on the uh, here on, on here is the sunflower moth. It's a grayish moth which likes to sit on the head. You may have seen it sitting on the head of the sunflower. Um, very damaging to sunflower. In recent years we have seen some flare-ups and then the banded sunflower moth which is called banded because it does have a black band on, on the brown wings so it's a really these two are easy to tell insects you'll see them flying if you walk into a sunflower field you'll see them flying from uh, head to head uh, so I've seen them uh, and it's really easy to monitor in sunflower but uh, if you are smart you can invest your money in getting some pheromone traps and uh, again these uh, are we use wing traps uh, for trapping banded sunflower and sunflower moths but we use two different pheromones the trap uh, that I have in my hand here this is the banded sunflower moth trap and uh, it, the, the pheromone lure is right here this is a pheromone lure and it's a rubber septum that uh, contains the pheromone the pheromone is released for about two weeks so this trap remains effective for two to three weeks. This is the trap uh, top and this is the bottom. This bottom portion actually you can take it down and replace it every uh, every week, every two weeks, whatever you choose. The more you sample, the better it is. And just to show you what the bottom looks like, uh, this trap has been sitting here for some time since our plot tour. Uh, so it's uh, covered with uh, dust but that's what's going to happen if you uh, if you do not replace them so frequent replacement of the bottom is important again uh, I'm not standing on a sunflower field so uh, I'm standing at uh, in a soybean field in the next video I'm going to talk more about uh, trapping techniques thank you